Hey everyone, this is Jordan from RushHomeProductions.com and today we are going to create a realistic earth in After Effects. Let's get started. So first thing is I'm going to come into After Effects and we're going to need three images to complete this. Uh, we're going to need an earth clouds texture, an earth day texture, and an earth night texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag my earth day texture and drag it into a new comp. Then I'm going to drag my earth night texture and drag that over top. Perfect. Okay, then uh, we're gonna draw a mask on the earth night texture like this. And then we're gonna feather it uh, 500 pixels. Next thing we're gonna do is grab our earth clouds texture and drag that over top. And then we're gonna hit screen mode. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna duplicate uh, the cloud textures a couple of times. We wanna create shadows on the water and on the land. So let's uh, get started with the earth clouds night. So let's name it that. So we'll start with our top layer, we'll duplicate it. And we'll call this earth clouds night. Uh, and then let's mask that. And then we'll feather it 500 pixels. And then we'll bring down the opacity to, let's say, 50%. Uh, let's try maybe 30%. Okay, let's go with that. Now we're gonna go to our earth clouds and then we're gonna name this uh, day. And then we're gonna draw a mask over the nighttime one and then we'll subtract it. And then hit feather, 500. Perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the shadows for both the day and night textures. So we'll click our day and then we'll duplicate it. Uh, then we're gonna go to invert. You can search in the effects and presets, drag that on top. And then we're gonna hit multiply. And then we're gonna bring it underneath our day texture. And then what we're gonna do is gonna scale it up to let's say 103. And then we're gonna slide it over so that we can create those shadows. Now it's a bit harsh right now, so we're gonna bring down our opacity, let's say to 30. Uh, now the next step we wanna do is we wanna color correct this image. So it's a bit of a harsh line between day to night. So we're gonna wanna um, gradually transition that. So let's create a new layer, uh, adjustment layer. And let's uh, draw another mask. And let's darken the image. So bring that down, maybe bring down our whites a little bit. And then we're gonna feather it 500 pixels. And then we're gonna draw another mask. We're gonna do this on the other side right here. And we'll feather 500 pixels. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I wanna add a general brightness to the image and take uh, out some of the saturation. So we're gonna create another layer adjustment. And we'll go to effects, color correction, curves. And let's brighten this image up a little bit. Okay, great. Now, next thing I wanna do is add a, a tint. And then let's bring that to about 20. Okay, great. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is actually, I wanna uh, create all these layers into a 3D object. And then I'm gonna to wanna to add a light. So I'm gonna layer new light, hit okay. And we'll bring the light over just like that. And actually, I want to brighten up our, uh, our image again. So I'm going to go back to our adjustment layer and just brighten that up a little bit. Okay, great. 
So now we get to make this into a sphere. So let's create a new composition, composition, new composition, and 1920 by 1080, and we'll hit OK. Then we're going to drag in our earth texture, and then we're going to scale it down. And then we're going to search CC sphere, and we'll drag that over the image. And let's bring up the radius. There we are. And we're going to expand the light and shading menu. And we're going to bring the light direction over to about 80 degrees. And then we're going to bring our light height down to, let's say, 26. Bring up our light intensity to 120. And we're going to bring up our ambient to 20. And we're going to bring down our specular to zero, our roughness to zero, and our metal to zero. And then we're going to click a rotation. And we're going to just rotate it slightly like that. And then on the Z, it's like minus three. Okay, great. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we want to create a little glow around the earth. Uh, so to do that, uh, we're going to create a shape layer. We're going to have a sort of a light blue. And we'll drag that underneath the earth texture. And we'll scale this down. Then we're going to go to Effects, Blur, Fast Blur. And we'll up this to about 20. And just adjust the image a little bit. Okay, like that, and then we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to click on the bottom layer, and we're going to darken it a bit. And then we're going to up our blur to about, let's say, 30. Okay, perfect. And then what we can do is bring our star texture and bring that down under the earth. We can make this a 3D layer and a 3D layer, 3D layer. And we'll push back our star image. Scale it up. Then we can add a little uh, color correction. So color correction curves. And we'll add a little contrast. We can add even a little bit of color if you like. So we can go down to our blue channel and uh, bring up the blue. Uh, and there you go. So if we want to add an animation to the earth, what we can do is go to our rotation and click on the Y stopwatch. And we'll drag the cursor to the end of the timeline. And then we can rotate it. So let's rotate it a little bit. Like that. And let's see what that looks like. So there we are. That's how you can create a realistic earth in After Effects. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials. I'm Jordan Dolella from Rush Home Productions.